Hello and welcome to the United Stand. Who are Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's top five transfer targets this summer? There's been a lot of talk, there's been a lot of links and I think it's time we look at the realistic top five for Manchester United because realism is going to be very important. We can't just keep saying we're in for this, we're in for that. We will have a budget, we will have particular targets. This is our top five. Get your top fives in below if you disagree. So we're looking at Solskjaer's top five targets this transfer window based on previous signings and scouting habits, projected transfer budget and positions that we need to improve in that we know United are looking at. And we're going to start off with number five, Declan Rice. Centre defensive midfield is definitely a position Manchester United have been looking at. They wanted Jude Bellingham and that didn't happen. Will they make a move for somebody this summer? Well, Declan Rice is certainly a player to consider. Much like Nemanja Matic, I've changed my opinion on this player. 2019, I felt Matic wasn't that good. Now he's, he's, he's reborn. He's fantastic. Well, Declan Rice is 21. He's got growth. He's got development. He fits in with what Solskjaer would want at United. A young Premier League proven player who's got the ability to get better and is hungry to go and play for a better club with bigger aspirations. That is Declan Rice. And as a centre defensive midfielder who can break up the play and who's good on the ball, he would fit what Manchester United want. Matic signing a new contract... Does that mean we won't sign a centre defensive midfielder? Maybe not this summer, but I think it does mean that Matic is going to be there to survey and nurture whoever is going to be the next one. Now, it could be McTominay and Fred, but the jury's out on whether they could do that. And I think United do want a centre defensive midfielder. And Rice coming in to work alongside Matic and develop under Matic, I think would be a good signing. However, could it happen? West Ham look like they're going to stay up now. I think if West Ham had gone down, relegation clauses, Declan Rice would have wanted to be in the Premier League. There was an opportunity for United there. However, I wouldn't totally rule it out because with these rumours about Lingard and, and Jones being targets for West Ham and we've had people like Romano on and James Cooper talking about swap deals being key this summer, is there a swap deal there for Declan Rice? I personally don't think we will do this deal. I don't think West Ham need to sell and I don't think he'll be ready to move on yet. But I certainly think if we're looking at a centre defensive midfielder and the transfer budget could stretch, I think Manchester United would do it. But I think that's a bigger factor as well. I think there's priority targets ahead of spending 50 million on someone Declan, like the Declan Rice, which is why I've put it as a 20 to 1 outsider. Um, I've clicked the wrong thing again. So, number four, we've got Donny van der Beek. Now, this is a player that caused a lot of excitement in the Manchester United fan base about a month ago. Uh, Ajax, Manchester United, Van, Donny van der Beek talks, wants the move, etc, etc. We've been there before and I think there's an element, as I said at the time, of it being paper talk. It served a purpose. United weren't going to get Werner, a positive spin around, a positive player that would bring a lot to United, gets the fan base going. Also, van der Sar links with United. Was there a bit of talk there? Oh, you know what? We need to move this player on. Real Madrid are backing off. Were we a pawn in a game of chess? For Van der Beek. And I feel that maybe we were. Because it's gone very quiet around Van der Beek. It was very noisy a month ago. It's a very easy deal for United to do. Value wise, 40 million. You know, United can afford that. Manchester United are definitely looking for a midfielder who can be creative. If we lose Bruno for injury or anything. But also can be box to box if we lose Pogba. So Van der Beek fits that. He can also play CDM. But he would be there for the more creative box to box feel. And he works. Look, Real Madrid have been looking at him. That's why Real Madrid are there. He's young as well. He's got development. He's ready to take that next step. Ajax are a developer of youth talent. They need to sell players this summer. They, you know, That's what they do. So I think Van der Beek moving this summer is a very, very big possibility. But I don't feel that he'll be coming to Manchester United. I feel that this is, this is all about getting Real Madrid to go for the deal that they were going to go for. Whereas United's eye is on somebody else. But I wouldn't totally rule it out. I just wouldn't think that he would be a player that we will sign this summer. But again, it's interesting that he's in there at number four. Because for all these links to all these players, actually, I think our scope is on very few targets. And is quite a narrow corridor of players that we're looking at. And also, the transfer budget will play a big part. We don't have infinite funds. And I think that is why... Um, for all the talk about all the players we're looking at, you've got to be realistic about what we probably will do at Manchester United. So, number three, centre-back. And who is the centre-back? Is it Rob Magnelli at AC Milan? Is it Upper Meccano? Is it Nathan Aki? Is it Cooley Barley? Is it Dunk at Brighton? Who is the centre-back? I don't know. I can't give you a name. That's why we haven't put a name there. But I think a centre-back for Manchester United is certainly in the top five and should not be ruled out even though I personally don't think we will sign one. And I don't think we'll sign one because of transfer budgets, which is why there may be a possibility with a Mings at Villa or a Aki at 
um, Bournemouth if they get relegated that United could go you know what 20 million can we get a cheap player to come in and give us something a little bit different we do need a centre back we definitely need a centre back but I don't know whether United would be doing it this summer which is why I've put it as a 10 to 1 outsider and I've put 40 million budget but I don't even think we've got that but the requirement for centre back is definitely there and it has to be considered in Solskjaer's top five transfer targets for this summer because I think the whole point of not putting a centre back there is this is a, this is an unknown. You can't put a name to it because you don't know whether United are going to do it. My feeling is that we won't do it, but I do. I certainly feel that it is an area that we do need to. Improve. We've seen it not because of mistakes by Harry Maguire, but more because we need a certain type of centre back at this club to complement Maguire, to complement Lindelof. They don't complement each other. We need a player with some pace, with some consistency, uh, who is a defender. And I don't think Eric Bailly has proved that. And I don't think United feel he is that. And Twan Sebi's had an injury. So who is that player? Yeah, we're, we're well stacked. We've got Phil Jones. We've got Rojo. We've got Smalling. But we haven't got that player to complement. And, and I think Solskjaer's aware of that. So look, probably not going to do it. But certainly a consideration. The question would be who it would be. And I think that United would probably... It could be any age. If we get one, I don't think it comes into the... I think we could go for a 29-year-old as much as we could go for a 20-year-old. But certainly I think it, it deserves its place in the top three. Uh, in at number two, look, no surprises here, Jack Grealish. I've put him as a two-to-one, which is quite good odds that we'll sign him. Around £50 million because I think Villa will get relegated. And if they want anything more that, than that, they're having a laugh. There is no way Jack Grealish will be in the championship next season. And I would expect he has a clause in his contract about that. So if Villa think they're getting 60, 70, 80 million, they're having a laugh and United will walk away. Um, interested clubs is interesting with Jack Grealish. I do not know, but I would imagine there will be interest. I just don't know where it would be. And this is the thing. Can Liverpool afford any money? Would they want him? Probably not. Arsenal won't be able to afford him. Man City, would they look at him? Maybe. Chelsea, I think they're looking at other targets. Newcastle haven't been taken over yet. Would he want to go there? So I think United just is the place that Jack Grealish would like to go. And I think Manchester United do want Jack Grealish over somebody like a Van der Beek. 24 years of age, had a fantastic season at Aston Villa this season in a very poor Villa side that's fighting relegation. He does fit that bill of being an attacking midfielder if you don't need Bruno or you want to rest Bruno or Bruno's injured. He can also play box to box if you need him to. He's well used to the Premier League. He gets fouled all the time. He carries that team on his shoulder. He's another leader. He's a captain, which I think is something that Solskjaer wants. And again, I think that fits in with the profile. This is a possession that we need to improve on. It's the profile of the player that we want. He is Premier League proven. He is a leader of his team. He is looking for a step up. And he has still got that development in him to prove himself at the highest level. Get into an England squad. So it all fits in relation to Jack Grealish. The only, my only concern with this is... Is the budget there to do it? Because I think we all know who's going to be at number one. And if you do that deal, can you do Jack Grealish as well? I'm 100% sure that United want to do this deal and Solskjaer wants to do this deal because he wants to have a bench and squad which can really take us to that next level. And Grealish is one of those players that does. Does he start for United at the moment? Probably not. But it wouldn't surprise me if he forced his way in. And that's the sort of player you want. You want hungry players to come into this club and make us better. And that is why I've got Jack Grealish as a very high chance at number two. And of course, at number one, there won't be any surprises here. You'd be stunned if I put someone like Mandzukic. It's definitely Jadon Sancho. Evens, evens. This is not anything to one. This means I really think this is going to happen. Five-star player. 85 million is what I've always said. I don't think we'll go any higher than Pogba's 89 million. There's going to be interest. I put Chelsea as high interest at the moment, but if Chelsea are going to get Havertz, could they really get Ziyech, Werner, Havertz and Sancho? I don't think so. They could fall away. Real Madrid have got the money when they can't afford Pogba. I don't think so. The likelihoods for me is he's going to stay at Dortmund, which I don't think he wants to do, or he's going to come to Manchester United, which I think will happen. Jadon Sancho is the player that Manchester United want. They're in love with Jadon Sancho, said Fabrizio Romano. He's at United at the front of the queue, said I, around the same time. And everybody else is, is basically saying the same thing. He, the terms won't be a problem. Sancho wants to come to Manchester United. Manchester United desperately want Jadon Sancho. Pogba's excited about playing with Sancho. Sancho's excited about playing with Martial and everybody else. The fans are excited about everything about this deal. And look, the thing is, the transfer window doesn't open till August. And I think then we will negotiate and we will get a deal. It could take a long time, but I think we will get a deal because this is a priority statement signing for Manchester United. And I have no doubts about it. If this, not, if this isn't delivered by Manchester, by Manchester United, they are sending a strong message out to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, the fans and the footballing world that we're not serious 
about winning titles. We just want top four and to be a business and not a football club, which is why I think United will do this deal because I think there's a change at Manchester United. I think they realise that this business model doesn't work and actually you'll make more money by being successful on the pitch. And I think United have taken a little bit of time to realise that, but I guarantee you you'll make more money out of that football club by being successful on the pitch than you will by trying to be an Arsenal who let's get top four every year and keep the money rolling in and take dividends. You've got to be successful and that's why Manchester United's number one priority is Jadon Sancho and that's why I think we will get him, hopefully. Anyway, get your comments in below. What are your top five? They'll vary from ours. Smash a like on the video if you've enjoyed it and I'll speak to you all soon.